hello viewers thanks for watching today we're gonna do javascript full course lesson 3 in this lesson we're gonna discuss about numbers and math operators so let's see how numbers work in javascript type alert inside the parenthesis and we put 7 plus 5 save it and showing 12 if we put 7 minus 5 save it and it'll show 2 7 divide 5 save it Measuring 1.4. Click OK. 7 multiply 5. Save it. 35. And if you do modulo, when you do this operation, it will find the remainder. 2 is the remainder. Click OK. These are the simple mathematical calculation. So if the calculation is a little bit bigger, then how, how are we gonna deal with that? Suppose 3 plus inside the parenthesis 3 plus 2 power two times the uh, asterisk power 2 minus 15 divide 3 so in that case how it will work at first you have to complete whatever inside this bracket then indices so this power 3 plus 2 5 power 2 means 25 minus you have to divide 15 by 3 so there will be 5 so 25 minus 5 20 plus 3 23 should be the answer if you save it 23 every time when you do the calculation you have to follow this order of operations just to make it comment greater than or less than how it works like a lot inside the parenthesis 5 greater than 4 save it it says true 5 is greater than 4 so it's true if you say 5 less than 4 save it so it says false 5 is not less than 4 input double equal 4 save it says false 5 is not equal to 4 input not equal to 4 what they say we need to put exclamatory sign before the double equal save it so it says true so 5 is not equal to 4 make it comment if you work with the string or alphabets how it will work a lot inside the parenthesis if you say a greater than p save it it says false alphabets start from a the next letter is greater than the previous letter a is not greater than p that's why it says false but if you say p greater than a save it, it says true because p is greater than a click ok if you say m e n mean greater than man it says true so how it works so when there are two three characters in each of them javascript will check the first character first character for this is m and the next one as well m so these are the same thing so if both of them are same then it will go for the next one next one is e and here next one is a so here e is greater than a that's why it says true here maybe one character more v na if it is like that so then what will happen save it it says true because here and there are four characters but for the second one is yes, three characters so whatever result up to three fourth one is a here but here there is no fourth character so automatically this one is greater than the next one type alert and inside the parenthesis if you say string type three greater than three save it false because we made it string but when there is a comparison at first when it checked the type it found like string type this one and the next one is number after that it will check inside the quotation is it number or not if it is number then it will count this as a number because it is going to compare with the another number three and three is equal it says false if we put double equal and save it it says true but if we put triple equal save it it says false because when we put double equal it doesn't check the type but when we put three equals it will compare with the type as well so string type cannot be equal to a number that's why when you save it it says false triple equal method it says strict equality check make it comment suppose there is a variable let borrow 
equal to 12 if you want to add 1 with this 12 how are you gonna do it borrow equal borrow plus 1 then alert inside the parenthesis type borrow save it 13 so 12 plus 1 13 so this is one way you can do this so make it comment another way is borrow plus plus save it it says 13 you can do any way if you want to remove one from this 12 what you have to do you can do just minus 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 save it says 11 12 minus 1 yes 11 this thing works for only one increase or one decrement but if you want to add 7 in that case you have to say like borrow plus equal 7 save it 19 12 plus 7 19 if you want to remove 7 then minus equal 7 so save it so 12 minus 7 so 5 if you want to multiply with the 7 let's put asterisk equal 7 save it as 84 12 multiply 7 equal to 84 if you want to divide by 7 just put it division equal 7 save it 12 divide 7 is 1.7 uh, something this way you can add or remove the numbers from one to another one i make it comment these are just short in notation we have one variable borrow equal to 12 let another variable outcome equal to we're gonna add some strings and variable strings need to put inside the single or double quotation maybe put give me then how are you gonna add them plus variable doesn't need any quotation borrow plus inside the pounds save it after that alert inside the parenthesis outcome save it it says give me 12 pounds 12 pounds together so if you want to make a gap you just need to make a space inside this quotation save it give me 12 pounds you need to put the strings inside the quotation then put the variable then add uh, another string this way you can add the strings and variables but the thing is like if you need to add lots of strings and uh, variables that will be a bit annoying to work so in that case there is another way to work in javascript that is called template string so there will be another lesson on template string so today i'm not discussing about template string or in that lesson i can explain this that's all for today thanks for watching and um, see you in the next lesson